there's so much hype around the vagus nerve. There is so much hype around resetting the vagus nerve, stimulating the vagus nerve, getting it back into line, getting ourselves back into line. Like it's something that we can just snap our fingers or click clack ourselves back together. It's it's quite incredible how much we've been taught for a quick fix. It's so much we've been taught about submitting our bodies and subverting our bodies to our whim and our will. And this is so much to our detriment. When you look at images of the vagus nerve, it is beautiful. It is this more than just a wandering thing. It's in every single organ of the body. It's intimately linked to the autonomic nervous system. Without the vagus nerve, you can't control your eyes and your ears and your face and your tongue. Without the vagus nerve, your stomach isn't open so that you can digest food. Without the vagus nerve, you can't have an open gut that allows your immune system to work and then talk to the entirety of your body and talk to your brain and talk to your fascia. And so we have this wildly interesting, complicated body system that is multi-layered and interstitially very, very sophisticated. And we live in it. And it's in there that we need to understand what we're doing when we're working with people and we're inviting them to reset their vagus nerve. Like we can just give it an electric shock. Because it's already potentially very tired. And it's talking to all of these other organs and all of these other systems. So we need to learn the language of the vagus nerve. We need to learn how to speak to not the vagus nerve, but our vagus nerve. Our body. Our body that's responding intimately to our life situation with our genetic history and our genetic predisposition and our environmental demands and our family system. This vagus nerve lives within all of those internal and external systems. It's working wildly to try and respond for you and help you stay online, use your eyes and your ears competently and let you talk to your hands in conjunction so that you can maneuver yourself through your world. Real healing means that we have to take all of that into account. And that is quite multidimensional. And we're used to thinking linearly linearly about health we're used to thinking linearly about medical and medicine and the body and so taking a multi-dimensional approach is almost too challenging our brains aren't used to thinking like that so we compartmentalize we do a little bit here and a little bit here and a little bit here and and then hope it all comes together but it doesn't, it can't all come together like that. It's almost an accident if it comes together like that. Because there needs to be some form and some cohesion. And I think this is why we have been drawn to the vagus nerve. Because it is like this cohesive thing that's in the middle of us. It is like this lovely piece of flowing bamboo or a flowing tree that allows a continuity between brain and body that sometimes turns into a talk guitar string and we are rigid and it is extremely difficult to use any part of our system and our brain. But if we don't learn the language of it and learn relationship to this system, and see the vagus nerve as a highly sentient, responsive aspect of our body that is part of the person, but the person is more. We can't get very far 
if we just do that and if we just treat it as if it's something to put back in a box or something to put a leash on. We're very used to making things domesticated. You can't domesticate the body. You can try, you can castrate it, you can chemically castrate it, you can throw things at it, but it's wild. And so you need to learn the language of that wild creature that is your body, that you have the honor of living in, and that the therapist has the honor of being allowed to work with. And then you slowly have to start working out how to engage at that level, which is extremely complex. And once you work it out, extremely simple. But it requires a shift in understanding, far more than a simple reframing, far more than just a one, two, three, and here we go, I want to put this in my toolbox. It requires something else, far more interesting, far more significant, and far more implicit in human understanding than we've been led to believe, taught, or encouraged but that way of being, that knowing, that that knowing that the body has the answers, it doesn't just keep score, it's got the answers. And it's a doorway. And when we learn how to play with that, we implicitly are better at our craft. We are implicitly better at looking after ourselves and the people whom we serve and love. And so my courses teach this. Yes, the exercises are interesting. Yes, the exercises are just right, but it's how you use them. It's how you embody them. It's how you and when you engage them so that there's actually appropriate timing and understanding at a multidimensional level. It's something you probably haven't been taught how to do. You've been taught to compartmentalize. You've been taught a specific thing. And it's something else again. Even if you stay in your own lane after learning this and bring it back into your workspace to know how to work at a multidimensional level and see through those eyes and see through that heart and engage with those eyes and those, that heart and those hands and connected to your innate knowing that is many, many levels. When you know how to do that, your world shifts. And this is the beauty of ART. This is the beauty of the emphasis of this work and it is unlike anything else. For me personally, what I really like about this course, like in a practical term that I can do it um, on my own um, pace. Uh, when I feel like it, I can go into uh, the course material, which is like very uh, like a lot of different things, videos, lectures, things to read. Um, and a lot of I, I find a lot of the uh, kind of links that are are brought in are very like surprising and refreshing to me even though i've like read and listened to a lot about nervous system polyvagal or um neurodiversity and this course i feel like it gives um a paradigm for everybody to understand this like how you can um uh, uh, assist a person who is autistic to kind of linking into this natural um stability that does live in everybody um and it's kind of like a magical spiritual thing to me uh it's like something grander than kind of the human interaction in the normal sense um and i think that holly really uh I think I think that she really really knows how to bring um this quite mystical <laughs> in my experience quite mystical teaching 
how to bring it together um, and explain it in a way that people can really understand. This is an invitation to the Certificate 1 ART course for the therapist training. It's a unique course. It will allow you to infuse all of your work with something quite unique. Something that I think is missing with a lot of therapies is what this work provides. What it does in many ways is teach foundational skills that that people are often missing when they're in a trauma state or when they have autism or ADHD or some other such things that often shut the body down or leave it in a hypervigilant state. A lot of things are then inaccessible like what am I feeling? What's my leg feel like? There's a way in which finding the body and accessing it's very difficult. So this work really teaches you how to understand what's going on in the body at a, at, a, at a theory level and we go through a whole lot of theory including the polyvagal theory but a whole lot of other stuff and you can see the list um, on the website for sort of kind of the weird deep dives that I like to do to try and explain what this work is for me but also what I'm trying to do the whole time is actually infuse you with an understanding of how to work gently with the body. Someone recently called me a, a nervous system whisperer and I thought that was really sweet because it, it is a bit like that. I, 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 I sort of talk about working with the octopus, which is your nervous system and, and the sentience of it and the intelligence of it and not bossing it around and not um, taking it to places it doesn't want to go, but actually harmonizing with it, building relationship, and then seeing we, what we can have when it lets go, when it stops hijacking the system. It's a very, very different and interesting way to work, but you have people with a whole range of issues that are hard to get at. This work works there. So it very much can infuse your current practice with this just one year as, as a standalone and then for other people what you may find is that you really want to go on and be a fully accredited ART therapist which is an amazing thing in itself.